pair of drugs to treat the virus, including the one used to treat malaria. The ongoing pandemic has many wondering when will things go back to normal. This morning, our national investigative team asks one expert for his prediction. Here's Investigate TV's Lou Zurich with our COVID-19 tracker. 11 days ago, our country had fewer than 1,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. Now it's more than 22,000. The numbers in the U.S. have surpassed Germany, Iran, France, and South Korea. I know it's a virus, it's hard to predict, but I mean, do, do you have any sense of, you know, what the next few weeks, months are going to be uh, for us and when, you know, when life can return more to normal for people? Well, I think it's going to vary city to city. So there's already some increasing normalization in the Northwest. And, you know, right now, panic is hitting New York City particularly hard because, you know, they didn't have much going on last week. Now, this week, there's been some increased number of cases. Um, other cities will have different experiences. On Thursday in the state of New York, 21 out of every 100,000 residents tested positive for the virus. In one day, that number doubled. On Friday, jumping to 43 out of every 100,000. Almost 30% of all counties in the country now have confirmed cases. Some other notable trends we've tracked, Michigan has a nearly 600% increase of confirmed cases since Wednesday, going from 80 to around 550 as we enter the weekend. And Mississippi's had a more than 300% increase since Wednesday. Many people across the country are scared, like this Kentucky woman who had an organ transplant. If I catch this, it's more than likely going to be a death sentence. It's really scary because, I mean, they tell you once you have a transplant, you have no immune system, basically. You have a little bit, but not enough to fight anything off. In South Carolina, a seven-month-old is infected with a virus. Very, very scary not to know. You know, could he make a turn from the horse tonight, you know, and just not be able to breathe? I've noticed some coughing more than he did in the beginning, and so that's very scary. Most people are recovering from coronavirus. The death rate across the country is around 1.5%. The state of Washington has the most deaths, 83. That was